Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome for the very first time if this is your first video here. So today, as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be going over how I get my base makeup specifically for my face vitiligo. So I do have vitiligo all over my skin and I have a few patches on my face, which I'm going to show you how I cover uh, those patches to give my face a uniform look. So for the past, I wanna say two or three videos, I've been skipping this step. So I've been kind of like not showing how I cover the whiteness because all of my makeup videos always show it. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna stop showing for a little while because it's very repetitive because I've been using the same three products to cover. But I thought, you know what? It's time to share specifically how I get my base to look one color. So I thought that might be helpful if you do, if you do to have vitiligo like I do or if you just wanna see how I get my face base makeup done. So before we get into it, please be sure to subscribe. It is super easy and it does help my channel a lot. Just hit the subscribe button down below and let's get right into it. The very first thing I do before I apply any foundation or any makeup is going to be my skincare, which is already done. It is almost 11.30 a.m. and I do my skincare first thing as I wake up every morning. And I also add sunscreen. But because I did that at like, 7 30 a.m today it is already 11 20 i am going to or i already did add more of my sunscreen and this is the one that i've been using and actually really liking this is the hawaiian tropic sheer touch 70 so i used to use another one that comes in a blue packaging and it's a 50 spf so I found this on Amazon and I really like it. It definitely feels more lightweight than the other one. I still like the other one. I would still keep buying it. But for now, I'm preferring this one, especially for my face where I use it all over. So anyway, now that that is done, this is the very first step. So I apply the sunscreen and then I'm going to go in with a hydrating primer, which is, I've been loving this product for a long time from Essence. This is the Prime and Studio. This remembers, this reminds me a lot of the Smashbox. I think it was like Photo Finish Primerizer, I think that was the name. So it basically turns out like a little lotion. Like you can tell like I'm already running out of this. So that's what it looks like. And then I'll just add this everywhere. If on that, you know, whatever day I'm using this, I feel like my skin is a little bit drier. I'll go in with my Merit, um, my Merit Serum, which also provides a ton of glow and a lot of hydration. But right now we're in the middle of the summer and my skin doesn't feel as dry. It always feels dry, but not to the point that I need to bust out my oil. So this essence product will suffice. Now let's move on to my second primer. If you've been following me for a little while, you know that I usually like to go for a primer that's gonna be more hydrating. So in this case, we use the essence and then a more glowy one. So for our glowy primer, I'm gonna be using from Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. This is called the Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash. So it doesn't have the name primer on it, but it provides this very beautiful, subtle glow that I really love. So here it is on my fingers, and I'm just going to do the same thing I did with the primer from Essence, and I'm just gonna apply it everywhere. Now that the primers are all set, let's move on with foundation. I'm gonna be using one from the drugstore. I honestly don't know if they still sell this anymore. This is from Flower Beauty Light Illusion, and I've got mine in the shade a soft sand M2. So I believe this is more of like a medium coverage. I honestly do not remember, but I did get a few comments that I, I really don't use a lot of drugstore. So I wanted to show you a bit more options with drugstore products. This one, I remember it was pretty good, but again, I haven't used it in a long time. I am working on decluttering my collection yet again. Probably gonna start with uh, lipsticks because I do feel like I have a lot and a lot of the colors I don't use. But anyway, moving back to the foundation, I like to apply it on the back of my hand. I'm gonna do like a pump and a half, and that should be more than enough. If I do need more, I can just add it. And then with my finger, I'm going to start applying this all over my face, and I will be blending with my fingers. But because I want a more sheer coverage or lighter, more natural, I'm gonna go back with my beauty blender to make sure everything is blended nicely. So for starters, I think that this foundation is maybe a little too light for me right now let's see i think maybe it looks a little bit yellow i haven't used it in a long time 
So now I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my beauty blender that's been wet. I went on and washed it before sitting down to do my makeup. And now I'm just gonna bounce it everywhere again to make sure that it goes really nicely blended into the skin and it doesn't feel heavy. It is a summer, so I like to have a lighter looking foundation just because it's super hot, especially here in Texas. And sometimes I legit feel like my makeup is like melting down of how hot it is. So this will help to make your base very much natural compared to using like a brush. And now to start covering the whiteness on my face, especially around my eyes, the very first thing I use is going to be a corrector. So this is something that I started using, I wanna say like a year and so ago, and I really love it. I think it helps a lot to cover that whiteness, and that way I don't have to use as much concealer, especially because, you know, I'm in my mid-30s, 30s, so underneath my eyes, it can definitely feel heavier than, I don't know, 10 years ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of this, like that's about it that I'm gonna use for both eyes. And as you can tell, I love this product. I think I'm gonna be repurchasing this probably during the Sephora BAB sale during the fall, just because I use it every day and it works wonderful. Not only to cover the whiteness, but also to brighten down there a little bit and to help with that discoloration because I have no pigment. There's a lot of uh, blue and purple uh, tones going on underneath my eyes and on my eyelids. So now to get back that color on the white patches, so let's say around my eyes, and then I also have some discoloration here on this side of my mouth, what I use is a full coverage concealer. So I actually use two because I like to have a little more of a brighter situation right here, like on the underneath eyes, underneath part of my eyes. So I'm gonna be using two. This has been my favorite combo for a long time, like the corrector and then the KBD concealer with a little bit of a lighter, brighter concealer from Charlotte Tilbury. So first, to actually cover, I'm going to use this concealer, the KBD, and I just added, especially here, because that's where I have like the majority of the white, and that's where I start, and then I move on to a little bit on my lids, whatever is remaining, I'll just add it here, because this is where I have the bigger, uh, the bigger wider patches, and then here, and then I add a little bit underneath my nose for some redness. And then we move on with the Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm just going to add this on the inner corners of my eyes, both on the lid and down here. And that should be enough. Then I can come back and see if it was enough. If not, I'll go and add more of the KBD. So I then go ahead and just start bouncing this everywhere with my brush. This one is from Rare Beauty. I think this is the foundation brush, but it's perfect for my concealer application. And I'm just blending everything. And then I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you can see how I'm just going to start blending. And then the, the lighter concealer from Charlotte Tilbury, I kind of like keep it down here, like on the inner parts of my eyes. And then the KVD, of course, it is on the outermost part of my eye. And that is what it looks like. It blends very nicely. It covers everything. Sometimes, I think it's on this side, I find that it's still a little too white or you can still see that color difference. And I just go back with my KVD and add a little bit more. So let's go ahead and blend this side. So here is the application of the entire face. I do feel that I need a little bit extra on this side. I don't know if the camera is gonna be able to pick it up but I can still see a bit of that whiteness right on the edge. So I go back to my KVD, and usually that's the side that I struggle the most to kind of like even out on the shade. And I'll just add a few more dots of the concealer, and then do the same thing Oops. with my foundation concealer brush, and I'm just gonna start blending this. That's basically it. I added a little bit extra, and I think now it looks perfect. If you are super critical and you know exactly where I have my white patches around my eyes or my face, you can probably still notice that there is a little bit of something going on, but it's honestly barely noticeable. 
so I am happy with the way everything looks so now again because we are in the summer I will go ahead and use two powders the first one is gonna be a more modifying this one is by Rimmel and with just my face face brush I'm gonna go ahead and focus the majority of this product around my eyes nose and mouth where I did apply the corrector and concealers then with whatever is extra I'm just going to swipe it on my t-zone because i do get a little bit shiny in the you know a few hours into having my foundation or my makeup especially if i'm gonna be outside with the doggies or whatever it might be it's extremely hot outside to finish up with this makeup well with the part of the application of how i cover everything i'm gonna do i'm gonna use a finishing powder this is from the hourglass palette i don't know what year this is from but basically I just grab one of these finishing powders and then go back on my under eyes. So this palette has two finishing powders. So I'm just gonna mix both and just add them on my under eyes. A little bit on my lids and that's everything. So let me show you how everything is very well blended, covered. You can barely see that I do have any vitiligo on my skin. So now I'm gonna go ahead and move on with the rest of my makeup. Uh, I'm gonna do just a very quick makeup, nothing too dramatic or out there. And before I apply uh, any cheek products, I like to spritz my face with some rose water to make everything look more fresh, more natural and not cakey. I went down and finished up my makeup so here is the full face and i went for very simple eyes just added mascara because i wanted more of a pop of color on my lips i'm wearing skyscraper rose by lisa eldridge this is one of her matte formulas it's not the true velvet it's the other one so let me go ahead and get a little bit closer so you can see the coverage of the white patches so basically they're very barely noticeable you can't really tell that i have any vitiligo if you see me from like here up because of course my neck i have a ton of whiteness and i don't mind the patches but for my face i do like from time to time go for a full face and here it is all done with the makeup i hope you enjoyed it and you found this helpful useful if you did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave just hit this little subscribe button down below and i'll see you in the next one bye